We joke it was looking at my bank account for insufficient funds, but that's not how it was. And we were talking about sufficient fun or like, you know, what, what's catching you? Wow. All right, you're going back um, 23 years now, so, um, which is um, three times longer than the Beatles. Chuck was playing at Marty's, uh, doing kind of a solo thing. And um, Mary Lynn and I were playing with uh, um, Craig, yeah, bass player. Um, and we were doing a thing at uh, what was uh, the Sheraton at that time. Occasionally, we'd go over and watch Chuck, and, uh, and then he invited us to sit in with him. That night, I remember, because it was a Crosby, Stills & Nash song, and it was finally, Chuck was the one, because Chuck never uh, uh, was closed off to any sort of, let's, let's do something. He was so um, open and just, come on up and sing this, just sing the song, and uh, it turned out to be a really wonderful night for all of us. Chuck asked me to join the band one time at Hoots uh, because they were just doing some kind of party and they didn't want to use a drum machine. And that was over a year before I joined the band, officially joined the band. The Melody, my wife, happened to be over, over listening and she said, well, how about insufficient fun? That quite never caught on. I was never happy with being in a band that did just one style. It's something that, that the band brought to me that I hadn't had in any of my other uh, musical experiences was a sense of community. Vic is a percussionist. Vic is not just a drummer. Vic added his personality. It blended with ours. We work on this band a lot. It's not just show up and do gig. And it's an honor that we take uh, very seriously that somebody wants to give of their time to come hear us play our music. It's uh, truly, truly a blessing. It's a, such a fun band to play with, but it's also a lot of fun just loading up, moving the gear, getting over there, setting up. It's it, Everybody's laughing all the time. It's just a lot of fun. Celebrating the Panhandle spirit, Larry Lemons, ABC 7 News.